Hello, 3Designers. I'm Joshua St. John, 3Design NYC on the forum, and this is the video demonstration series. This demonstration is called Solid Module Fundamentals Special Effects 1. We're going to take an in depth look at Boolean operations such as Boolean addition, Boolean subtraction, Boolean intersection, and Boolean merge. And then we're going to take a look at crop and punch. So let's hop into the 3Design workspace and start out with Boolean operations. Okay, so here we are in the 3Design workspace. I'm going to save as desktop special effects 1 and start off by looking at the front view. I'm going to take uh, the solid figure of a sphere and put it in the center so it goes 0, 0, 0 and put a radius on of 8 millimeter and move it over on the X to 5 millimeter. We'll go ahead and validate that and then I'm going to do the same thing center it, make a radius of 4 move it up slightly to 6 millimeter on the Z and over to negative 2 on the X and change the material to precious metal 18 karat white gold. Validate. I'm going to hide my planes so we can see exactly what we have here. Now I have um, two solids on the screen that look a lot like if you look under special effects tools the first tool our boolean operation. So let's go ahead and freeze the big sphere and you can see the small sphere is penetrating it. They're overlapping. So the first thing we're going to look at is Boolean addition. Right now if I was to remove a face from the big sphere you'll see the little sphere is inside it. Now there are two separate spheres in the tree. When I do the Boolean operation, when I do an addition, it doesn't matter the order in which I select. I choose 1 and 2, Boolean, addition, and I end up with Boolean operation. So now I'll go ahead and I'll remove a face. And you'll see that all of the overlapping material has been removed. Now why is this important? What is the difference between a Boolean operation and, let's say, a group? These are both one, one thing in the tree. The difference is rapid prototyping machines need to work with a true solid with no overlapping edges. Good solid modeling fundamentals is all of your solids should be fully Booleaned one object with no overlapping edges. So Boolean addition does just that. That's one solid. I go to the part doctor, I hit the eyeball, I will have a true solid. Okay, so let's talk about subtraction. So with the Boolean subtraction, the order in which you select them matters. I'm going to select the big sphere first and then the small sphere. Choose Boolean, subtraction, and validate. Now you see the small sphere has been subtracted from the larger sphere. Let's do that again. The first one you select is the body from which you're going to subtract from. The one you select second is what you are going to subtract. So Boolean subtraction and voila. Now if you realize that you selected them in the wrong order, you don't have to undo and restart. You can go to your object list, hit the arrow, change the direction, and there you go. It reverses it for you. So th there we have the Boolean subtraction. I'm going to uh, undo this and let's talk about Boolean intersection. Now if addition adds them both together, subtraction takes away one from the other, intersection leaves you with just the intersecting solid, like so. Let me explain that a little more. We'll freeze here, and we'll freeze here, kind of have a Venn diagram looking thing. This is what will be left with the intersection. 
Now, there are some great um, applications for Boolean intersection. I don't use it. It's of the Boolean inter uh, of Boolean sub addition, subtraction, and intersection. I use intersection the least. But when I do use intersection, it's for something that I couldn't achieve in another way. So uh, we'll get back to that later when I give you the real world example. But uh, let's talk about the last one in the function, and it's called Boolean merge. Now Boolean merge is it's it's a different kind of function because it, it doesn't really have any um, construction value. But for all you guys out there who are still milling, Boolean merge is um, a great tool for you. With rapid prototyping machines, as I mentioned before, it needs to be a Boolean solid. Now, for the milling people, if I take this Boolean merge and I select it, now if I freeze this, you're going to see that it didn't remove any of the material. It has Boolean them together. If I take this merge, this Boolean merge, and I check it with my part doctor, it's going to come up as false because of the overlapping surfaces. But if I remove this face, you're going to see the material is still on the inside. Like so. So that's a Boolean merge. And the only purpose for it is in milling that I know of. If other people have some uses, please let me know. Get up on the forum and talk about that one. So I'm not going to give any more examples about Boolean merge, but I do want you to know that it's there and understand the difference between a Boolean addition and a Boolean merge. The last thing I want to touch on before going to crop and punch is coplanar booleans. And we've discussed this before. So I'm going to do a cut and delete keeping this side. And then I'm going to mirror across. Now these two surfaces, this surface here and this surface here they overlap perfectly. They're what we call coplanar because they share a plane, in this case the center plane. Now a lot of times coplanar booleans give us problems and the reason is the computer doesn't understand what you want it to do because these two objects don't overlap at all. With an addition it knows that the overlapping pieces need to be removed but right now it doesn't really overlap because a plane or a surface has no thickness. That said, 3Design is smart enough and resilient enough that it can get through some coplanar Boolean operations. Let's try this one. This one it had no problem with. It just cruised through it. If we check here, it's a true solid. Yeah, so so in this case the uh the boolean the coplanar boolean operation is not a problem. If your booleans are failing or if you're getting exclamation points and you notice that they are coplanar, then this is the time to maybe think about removing surfaces and welding and getting into some surface modeling. I just wanted to touch on that because um the boolean operations tend not to fail if the geometry is what the computer wants and the problems that you get usually are related to something like too many boolean operations trying to boolean an unboolean solid to a solid or coplanars so i just wanted to point out those uh i just wanted to point out that example so crop and punch is next it's the second one in special effects and i'm going to show my uh front view plane and make another sketch to demonstrate the crop and punch. I have this boolean solid and I'm going to take my cyclical curve and I'm going to make uh, just a fancy shape in the center. Okay so I have this fancy shape here. I'm going to go back to the solid module and I take that curve and if I extruded it and did a boolean subtraction I would end up with this and if I was to do a boolean intersection I would end up with that 
Now crop and punch saves me the trouble of having to do the extrusion. So I'm going to hide my planes, delete that extrusion, and now take the curve, take the solid, do a crop. I get that, and with a punch, I would get that. One last option is in there. I can do keep both sides, and I get two crop and punches. One and two. Delete, no, and undo. So crop and punch is a Boolean subtraction uh, of an extrusion. The thing about uh, crop and punch that ne you need to realize is, let me um, bring in something from the library here. Um, I'll just go to a shank. Something that's perfectly round, like so. Hide it. Let me see my top view plane. I'll make a sketch on the top view plane. And if I wanted to say put a, a hole in the center of that shank. Now with crop and punch, it seems like it would be a good idea. However, I cannot limit I cannot limit the angle. I mean I cannot limit the distance of the crop and punch. It's gonna go through both sides. You see that? With an extrusion and subtraction, I could of course extrude it only in one direction and then boolean subtract oh wrong direction change the order and we get what we were looking for now there has been some discussion of setting a um, a distance on the uh, crop and punch for version 8 so Let's hear your feedback on that and see if that's something that would be useful to you all. Now I'm going to try and construct a pendant using all of the uh, functions that I just demonstrated. Okay, so I'm going to delete everything I've done so far and I'm going to show all my planes and start off with a stone on the top view. I'm going to go with a cushion cut. Get rid of keep ratio. I'll do 18, excuse me, 12 by 18. Change the material to, I'll use one of my materials, fine colored stones, the Paraevo. Perfect. And validate there. Awesome. I'm going to make a sketch on the top view. And I'll actually name it top view. I'm going to use a cyclical curve and drop one, two, three points there. All right, and I'm going to start refining this curve to match the girdle. And perfect. I can leave the uh, sketch. And I'm going to do a little trick. And I'm going to take this curve and I'm going to do a modify curve to it from the solid module. So this is a little different. Go to reverse direction, change origin. And I'm going to take the starting point and bring it as close as I can to dead center. And this will be useful later. And I want to explain why I'm doing it in the solid module instead of doing it in the sketch. Validate there. Okay. Now if I was to do it in the sketch, I have the curve that is cyclical. Now when I move the curve, it wants to recompute the modify curve, which makes sense. However, if I was to take it and change the or and change the starting point in the sketch, watch what happens. It changes this curve to a NURB and it loses that cyclical quality. So if I edit undo, I have the cyclical quality intact, and with my modify curve, I have the starting point where I want to need it to be. Okay, so I'm going to hide my sketch, and I have my modify curve. 